What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I am going into one quick little topic that you know uh, kind of bothers me. So I, I want to get into the tech things but there's just so many people out there that are just honest to God so much <laughs> more enlightened when it comes to the tech specifications and um, and actually being able to compose those thoughts and um, you know honestly I, I think as it sits right here uh, I just want to show you something um, that I think personally annoys me that might annoy you if you go down this route and uh, possibly give you a solution before you even found out that you were annoyed by something so before I start this off I usually record on this camera right here which is my Sony my RX100 uh, I guess VII7. So this is my pocket cam. This is what I do pretty much most of my YouTube stuff on. I was planning on upgrading to the Sony A7S3, but I have my A7R3. I'm going to be upgrading to my A7R5 soon. I'm going to sell this, uh, continue building my lens collection, and then upgrade to the A7S4 whenever that comes to fruition and it's an actual thing uh, I'm assuming within the next six to twelve months it could be a thing that's fine for right now I got my GoPro I got my Sony pocket cam and I got my mirrorless for still images but like I said this right here is the one I don't mess around with the audio I don't even use a mic uh, I could it would probably bump the audio up a tiny bit um, I don't think it would give a huge advantage for me for the work that I would have to do to it but the GoPro audio is horrible and I know I'm gonna need a solid audio solution for this uh, when I do the a7s or if I pick up the Sony a1 or if I even go to Canon um, and just start doing that or Fuji there's a couple options out there that I'm looking over so um, I was using this setup for quite a while this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. These are incredible mics. You have the actual base that connects to the cold shoe and or hot shoe. I guess you could still put it on there. Again, listen, I'm not uh, Mr. Tech. I'm just an honest guy that likes to give my opinion on some stuff. So this is the transmitter. That's the receiver. This gets attached here. For instance, on the GoPro, there's a place here and a place here. And if you have you know this not taken up or if you have a cage like I do then you know the transmitter would would basically just lock into there and as you can see especially with this unit and as you can see with this it's just basically a nice lightweight setup and you can connect the um, receiver to the actual camera and you got yourself some good quality audio right but one of the things I always look for is options and when something comes out that's new I upgrade to it usually or give it a go at least now I've had a lot of good experiences in the past with DJI this is their um, new wireless uh, mic setup I love it and I'll tell you real quick why again I'm not a uh, tech uh, person that's going to be doing some in-depth review but this case charges the unit it's very compact versus what I would have to do with this it's very much a more compact setup um, it does come with the magnets which I appreciated because I did have to buy the magnet option from uh, Rode online and that was an extra cost but this comes in here and it's a charging dock plus it's got the ability to connect multiple ways you can do a lightning cable USB-C so basically you can connect this to your smartphone for audio or it's got this thing so I'm gonna put the camera down and show you the whole point of today's video because you know my intros are always long drawn out alright so we got a good camera view here we're gonna talk real quick try to get this accomplished as fast as we can um, when you get this comes like this and I believe this is just uh, tucked this is tucked in here like this somehow 
yeah, something like that. This is just tucked in there. So what you do is when you get this, you're gonna decide. So for me, personally, I never use this on a phone. I use this on my cameras. So either my GoPro or my um, full frame. Again, I'm not gonna use it on this one, but this is just an example. This is uh, the way it connects. So it comes with one of these little uh, things here. And this bends to open up. And what this does is this goes in here and it slides in and you get a little click. And now this is supposed to be like this. Okay, now bear with me here. I'm gonna show you why I'm annoyed. So real quick, cause I did mod this a little bit so it'll be different. But if you look at this, we slide this in nice you'd have to really make sure you put effort into it to remove it now here's the other one okay we're gonna put clip mode there's it's just like like literally it'll come right out now I uh, had the same problem with that in here as well um, so what I did is I took a little piece of electrical tape here and here, and I just put it in there. Can't really get a good idea where it is, it's on here. And then it worked where it would stay. Actually, come on. Here, lock the screen. Then it worked, so it would stay. But before I did that, it would just flop out. Now, all that aside, fine. What I started reading, was that this design, people were having a lot of trouble. Um, I guess, because this bends here, you know, people must have been breaking these. Uh, from what I'm reading, there's been more than a few um, people breaking these hinges here. So I uh, went on, found out that there was somebody making these things on Etsy. So. This is a 3D printed piece that goes on. Apparently it's a lot more sturdy. Now when I ordered this, I thought for sure, okay, that's gonna be a lot more sturdy. It's probably not gonna have as much chance of it breaking, okay? And it was a four pack. So if, for instance, it did break, I'd have a four pack and it was fairly cheap in price. So I bought that and, you know, of course, that's not gonna work. So, um, you know, needless to say, it doesn't work on anything. And uh, I'm gonna show you real quick too. Even the stock one, again, this is a full frame mirrorless camera uh, cage and it's by Small Rig. So it's not some like knockoff brand, but you know, again, it just falls out. Like that, that shouldn't occur. That shouldn't occur. So, um, since I don't want to have to deal with that, and I also don't want to have to deal with uh, things breaking, I found this from the same seller. So it's a hot shoe or cold shoe attachment, right? And it's got a threaded 3D printed, feels really nice. I mean, obviously, no, this is not something you're gonna be torquing down like crazy. It's not like aluminum or metal or anything but it's got the actual 3D printed, same one here. And it's the first time I'm actually mating these, like Avatar. So you're gonna put this on, hopefully it fits while I'm on camera. Okay, it does. So it's nice and sturdy. And uh, essentially, all we're gonna have to do is just plop this on, like that, really. And that's just as tight as the road would be. There's no reason for it to be tighter than that, but that's what it would look like. Now, you could, if you're using this as a selfie cam, um, one of the things about this is, because there's a uh, touch screen on the front, you could put it in like this, and in my opinion, it'll look even cooler. It's got obviously a little bit more height, but for functionality, so that it doesn't fall off, I'm all for it. 
I'm just all for it. Um, you put it on there, loosen it up, and you're moving along. Now, GoPro, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna slide this in, and we're gonna give this a little turn. And there it is. It's not coming out. Not coming out. And the um, cool thing about that is now I can do what I wanted to do. So without tightening this on this side, you know, it comes right out. So what I like about this now is I could now have the option of uh, filming like this with this on the side. And, you know, I probably would still keep it on the top because it has to come over here with the GoPro adapter, the USB-C. It locks into this case. Um, or I could just cut across. It might be fine be better and this is still lightweight it's not super uh, obtrusive but again because this is a vlogging type setup you can turn it backwards front or back and if you're looking at the camera now vlogging I can see my settings that's why I love this uh, mic but anyway I just uh, figured I would let you guys know. I'm gonna link these down below. I um, I don't know who's actually making it behind the company, like the, the man behind the brand. I think it's like basement something. I'm gonna, you know, link it down below. Uh, I have no affiliation to it. I just thought it was pretty cool to show you. You can see it's all 3D printed. It's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, obviously, who knows how long it'll last, but, you know, um, I think it was like 20 bucks to have this nice and secure. It feels smooth. It feels smooth. I, uh, I like it and, you know, I think it'll be a good option. This is going to be nice also. Uh, the only thing I don't like is obviously this can't bend and fold. That's why this does that. So it's more compact. And you also, you know, can, uh, I mean, this definitely could break if you pull it hard enough. But... I just wish there was more clamping power on it. The reason this works so well is because it goes like, it's a serious amount of force toward this piece right there. And, you know, when it goes on, it, it just stays on. So, I mean, either way, I'm not getting rid of either mic. I'm keeping both. I know some will say that's kind of silly considering the pricing but to be honest with you i don't i don't really care i like camera gear and video uh gear and all that other stuff and i will be having multiple video type cameras whether it be a camera b camera gopros and all these other stuff down the line so again like i said probably gonna get an a7s whenever they upgrade that because i think we're just way too close to an upgrade for me to even bother wasting time with an a7s3 even though the a7s3 is bomb it's just you know spec wise and you know from all the reviews i've seen it's it's incredible so it's good but this pocket cam has been awesome also the reason i want that is because i've got a lot of glass now as it is and there's quite a bit more lens uh purchasing coming whether it be uh, a 51 to 2 I've got a 16 to 35 G Master. I've got 135 primes. I got 100 to 400s that I want to buy. There's so many different lenses. Obviously, not all of them are going to be good for vlogging type things. I've got a 24 1 to 4. I'm I'm new to photography and videography as far as you know trying to pump out super high quality. And obviously, I'm dog shit at editing. So you know, take it for what you uh, what you will with that. But this is just my setup. I think it's pretty cool if you have this mic and that's something that's been bothering you this could be a solution for you i will post it down below thank you so much for stopping by if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing it does help out a lot i'm trying to get this channel into some sort of number uh higher than <laughs> single digits uh preferably which would be pretty cool but yeah that's all we have uh thank you so much for stopping by uh, i hope everybody's staying happy healthy and humble see you guys in the next one